Welcome back to the AI for Good Global Summit here at the ITU headquarters in Geneva, where I'm very pleased now to have with me Stephen Ibaraki, who's the chairman of Red's Venture Capital Fund, we also say at the end. And basically, you played a key role in getting this off the ground last year. What's your mission? What would you say your purpose of doing that is? You know, there's so much innovation occurring in technology worldwide, of which AI is a principal leader. In fact, uh, PwC is predicting a 15.7 trillion increase in GDP by 2030. So it proliferates across every industry, across governments, education, every sector. And why not have AI now being directed towards the sustainable development goals, you know, poverty, health, hunger, uh, ecosystems, uh, gender, you know, equality and so forth. So, and what a better vehicle than a, the UN and the UN partners and agencies as a collaborative platform to get this dialogue going, but then to take it more than dialogue, but into action and implementation of real solutions to address these 17 sustainable development goals. You mentioned those 17. Are you positive about the future with AI? I'm very, very optimistic about the application of AI for good which is the purpose of this summit, the focus, and that is the whole idea of taking real life uh, use cases or examples or taking the resources that are available and then directing them towards the applications of fighting hunger and increasing welfare for people from a health standpoint or uh, enabling smart cities and, and or any number of the other sort of you know, far reaching goals that are out there. So, Is your venture capital fund involved in that as well? Yes, our venture capital fund is investing in AI and related technologies like blockchain and so forth to enable healthcare or AI to be used in a way that can benefit all of the sustainable development goals. Now, like you said, the idea is last year was more talking about the vision of AI. This is about, this time, action. We want to see things being done concretely. Are you beginning to see the grassroots of that taking place here today? I'm seeing more than grassroots. I've seen an, a, a movement which we can act as a catalyst for launching many, many different kinds of programs that where we can measure and see the results and and actually feel the the real life impact of how it's going to affect our lives, but the lives of over seven billion citizens around the world, both in developing and developed countries. Have you any idea, just lastly, where you see things in ten years from now? Where I see things in ten years from now, I see. It'll be so widely integrated, that is artificial intelligence and machine learning and robotics, that it'll be seamless. So the kind of conversations we're having today where it seems novel will no longer be novel. It'll be every day, it'll be part of our lives, it will be augmented in ways that we can't even imagine. In fact, I'm augmented and uh, I belong to a think tank uh, created by uh, one of the largest auto manufacturers uh, and we look at the future of AI as well. Uh, some of the participants there are augmented and that's just sort of a transition where everybody will be augmented in some way by AI without even knowing it. Well, thanks very much. Well, that's Stephen Ibaraki giving us a little insight into where things will be in the AI world in 10 years from now.